Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. It is, of course, a widely held belief that it's a scientific fact we live on a globe Earth, with water clinging to the outside of it, held on by gravity, and that water will curve as it goes around the ball Earth. However, this is something that has never ever been demonstrated or measured. In fact, the physics of water dictates to us that this is impossible. When water is contained, it is always flat and level, on any scale. Hydrostatic levelling is something used by surveyors and engineers to find the level between any two points, that is the horizontal level, and this can be done across many, many kilometres. Any assumptions that level is anything other than horizontal are nothing more than theories and must be practically demonstrated in order to prove the belief and theories that we live on a globe Earth with water curving away from us in all directions. When water is not contained, it spreads out in all directions and it will flow down a curve or a hill of any gradient at any distance. This proves in itself that the idea of gravity being down in all directions towards the centre of a spherical Earth simply isn't true. So the burden of proof is not on the flat earther to defend the natural physics of water that is always level when it's contained and always flows when it goes down a curve. The burden of proof is on the globe Earth believer or defender to measure this alleged curvature. And it should be fairly easy to do. So here's the challenge for any globe earth defender or anti-flat earther out there who wants to prove flat earthers wrong. Find a stretch of open water that's not contained and demonstrate that it doesn't flow. According to earth curvature mathematics, a distance of five kilometers gives you a curvature or a drop of about two meters, 1.96 meters to be precise. So go and find a stretch of water that is five kilometers long and find a way to measure this alleged drop of two meters. We'll leave it up to the globe earth defenders who are smarter than the flat earthers to find a way to do this. You can use drones and cameras and telescopes, whatever method you choose. There must be a way to demonstrate this in a practical way and provide measurable proof that water across five kilometers drops and curves by almost two meters but doesn't flow in any direction across that distance. So will anyone prove once and for all that we live on a ball earth with measurable proof that can be repeated by anyone? Or will we just get more excuses and reasons why it can't be done? Looking forward to seeing the results. Thank you very much.